Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another MariaDB tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at the SQL insert statement. The SQL insert statement takes the following format. Insert into table name and then after table name we specify in brackets all of the columns that we want to enter values into. Then once we've specified the columns, we then have to specify the values. So we start with the keyword values and then in brackets we specify a value for each of the fields that we've specified in the previous fields list. Let's take a look at some examples. If you recall from the previous tutorial we created a couple of tables, departments and employees. So let's take a look at the format of those tables. First we'll look at the departments table. Describe departments and our semicolon. You'll see in this table there are two fields. One the ID which is an auto increment field and the second one being text which is a description of our department with a varchar 50 specification. Now when we're inserting values into the department's table we don't need to specify a value for the ID field since that is provided automatically by MariaDB. So inserting new records into the table, all we need to specify is a value for the text field. It goes like this. Insert into departments. We have to specify the field name, which is text, and then values. And then in brackets we have to specify a value for the text field for this record. So let's, for example, for a department name, let's call the first one Human Resources. And since it's a text field, we're enclosing the value in quotes. Now that's the end of our insert statement. We have to now enter our end of command terminator, which is the semicolon. And once we hit the enter key, the record will be inserted into the department's table. One row. We can see that now just by doing a select statement. We're going to explore the SQL select statement in the next tutorial. So the command is select star, which means every field in a record from and then the table name semicolon, enter, and you'll see the field human resources has been correctly entered into the department's table. And let's do the same thing for the employees table. First we'll look at the structure of the table. Describe employees, semicolon, and enter. We have an ID field which uniquely identifies the record. We have an employee ID that is unique among all of the records in this table. We have a first name and last name fields, a birth date, and a department ID. As it was with the departments table, we also have an auto increment field, the ID, so we don't need to specify that when we're entering new records into the employees table. A value for the ID field will be provided automatically by MariaDB. So we will again say insert into employees, a list then in brackets of the fields that we want to enter values for, employee ID, first name, last name, birth date, and department ID. Again, if you recall from our previous video on foreign keys, any record that we enter into the employees table has to have a department ID and the value for the department ID in the employees table has to match a value for the ID in 
the departments table. So when we're providing the values, since we only have one record in the departments table, the department ID must match that value. So the department ID for our employee must have the value one. The employee ID is an integer. So let's, for example, say one, two, three, four, five, six as the employee ID. The first name and last name are both varchar, so the values for these should be enclosed in quotes. The birth date is also enclosed in quotes. And the value for the department ID has to match a record in the departments table. So in this case, since we only have one record in the departments table, the value has to be the number one. We'll close our bracket, the semicolon as our end of command, and we hit enter, and we have one row. And again, we can do the same sort of select statement as we did on the departments table after we entered a record, just to see what the contents look like. Select star from employees, semicolon, and enter. Oh, let's try that again. So we have the record that we just entered. Now there are other ways to enter data into a table using the insert statement. And there are other ways to enter bulk data by importing data from files. And we'll cover those in future tutorials. But for right now, this will get you started. This is the simplest form of the SQL insert statement. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.